Discover a new artist every day on Jesse Wall Artist Spotlight. Today's Artist Spotlight is on Steven Travers. Steven Travers takes his inspiration from uh, the local flora in his region of Australia. And he has a really accomplished style that he employs across all his paintings. And interestingly, he posts time lapse on Instagram showing his some of his different works in progress. And the way he paints is very methodical and it'd be good to learn from for any artist who wants to take a look at his Instagram page, uh, which is linked to on his website, which is stephentraversart.com. Looking through his paintings, they're just very wonderful paintings. They just all are very nice to look at and they depict different kinds of flowers and, and a lot of eucalyptus trees which makes them a little bit exotic for, I think, some people. I come from California, so eucalyptus aren't really all that exotic to me, but they're beautiful paintings. They look really nice. And one of the things that is so remarkable for me as a, as a painter myself to see is how he treats leaves, different leaves. Um, he seems to actually paint every single leaf. I mean, that's what it looks like. I doubt that he is doing that, but he's good at making it look like he's paid attention to every single leaf. Uh, sometimes like there's a, there's a painting that looks like a bamboo forest. It could be a eucalyptus forest and maybe it has both of them in it, but it looks like, it looks like he's really just paid attention to every leaf, which is really impressive. And I've seen loads of paintings from every past century where people cut corners when it comes to painting every leaf or making sure that it looks like every leaf is different, you know? So whatever he's doing, however he's doing it, is working. So I'm gonna read from Stephen Travers' uh, bio on his website. Rather than represent a scene, Stephen prefers to confine his artwork to a section often akin to looking out an upper floor window. More than just reducing the scope of the image, the elimination of the wider context instead emphasizes the constituent parts of color, shape, light, tone, texture, and positive and negative space. This allows the observer to construct their own overall whole, to move backward from the image and connect with their own past sensory experiences within the Australian environment, as well as introducing new present ones to them. And he really, really likes Waratahs and Gaimea lilies which I've never heard of, that sounds really cool. So now I'm gonna uh, quote a little bit more from his About the Artist uh, section on his website. Stevens insane jealousy when his daughter's year 12 major work won a year scholarship at the Julian Ashton Art School was a loud call that it was time for him to do something about the desire to paint he had subdued for every day for 25 years. A couple of introductory TAFE certified four fine art subjects in drawing and painting in 2006 and 2007 provided some enforced structure and input but rather than continue with a broad curriculum which would take him into areas of less interest he left classes to pursue the areas which have always captured his imagination the light color shape and texture of the australian natural environment in 2015 he took the step of leaving regular employment to work full-time at his art. Check out Stephen Travers' website at stephentravers.com. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to see a new video every day. Click the links below for more information about my work and that of today's artist. Please consider supporting my work at Patreon. The link is right there. For artist suggestions, please head over to Patreon as well for more information. Thanks.